His daughter disappeared without a trace from her home outside Salt Lake City more than three years ago. Today, a new lead brings Susan Powell's father to Idaho in search of answers. Reporter Eric Fink has tonight's big story. Michelle Rowland, a few days ago, the West Valley City, Utah Police Department ended its active investigation into Susan Powell's disappearance just before Christmas 2009. Now, Chuck Cox leads an investigation of his own, stopping anyone who will listen. That's the closest we got to finding out what may have happened to my daughter is this car. In Driving from Washington, Chuck Cox stops in this Ontario motel with a flyer of his missing daughter, Susan Powell, and the two persons of interest in her case, her husband Josh and his brother Michael, and these two cars. Cadaver dogs smell decomposing human remains in one of the trunks. Remains Cox suspects are those of his daughters. Everyone along the corridor can, can think about what they've seen and maybe something that didn't make sense three years ago or seemed odd to them three years ago will now click in their minds and uh, th it'll be important. Police say Josh Powell murdered he and Susan's two sons and committed suicide in February 2012. His brother committed suicide this past February. Then last Tuesday, the West Valley City, Utah Police Department suspended its active investigation into Powell's disappearance, a decision that troubles Susan's sister, Denise. They should have gone on to at least five years. If they hadn't found her then, I'd understand, but there's too much wrong with the case, too many questions not answered, but we've got to take over and we've got to find her ourselves. Cox says spreading the word is vital. He says he won't let himself stop until he knows what truly happened to his daughter. How difficult has this drive been? Well, we, we stopped a lot, but I, it, it brings it all back. It brings a lot of it back, but, but it's never really left. It has to be done, and we're going to not give up. From Idaho, this hopeful father heads east to Utah, stopping along I-84 at gas stations, restaurants, searching for new leads. Anything that seemed out of the ordinary at the time, it'll ring a bell with somebody and we'll have a tip that might lead to finding my daughter. So, And Cox says most of the people he stopped over the last 48 hours have never heard of Susan Powell. He tells me that's discouraging, but he says he needs only one person to remember something about the two brothers or those two Fords. Roland, Michelle? Mm, That's Eric. right. And sometimes a simple visit like this can jar someone's memory. But he's not looking to find her still alive. Is that correct, Eric? No, I mean, re realistically, he believes that she's dead. He just is looking for some closure and hopefully maybe finding mm. some remains. I mean, he, he always says that there's this glimmer of hope that 